Hello, Master Duel Central. How's it going, guys? So, oh my god, I thought I was getting trolled in my Discord right now because someone was talking about a new ban list. I was like, that's some bullshit, bro. Ain't no way they're dropping monthly ban lists. But yo, upcoming Forbidden Limited list update. Let's check this shit out. Let's see. I'm so happy that they're doing more regular stuff. So, implemented on October 28th. Oh my god, bro. October 28th is going to be so busy for me. There's going to be the new Resident Evil 8 uh, DLC. Bayonetta 3 is coming out. And now we have a ban list update. That is just crazy. But let's see what they're doing here. So, oh, okay. So, no bans. Okay, okay, okay. So, it's just semi-limits. The long one. Branded opening. And Fluandries and the Magnificent Map. Okay, so I'm just going to give some in-depth thoughts here. So, for long one... I don't really get this. I mean, honestly, just semi limits in general, I have a hard time really understanding. Long one in particular, it's like a lot of people don't even run three long one anyway. Like it's it's a card like I don't know. You just search it if you need it, right? Like I don't know. You just search it off of your off, off of your Shishao. I guess it's to make it so you kind of have to choose sometimes between Shishao and Protos. It's it's fine, I guess. Like you still have like three copies of Emergence, so it's like they they bumped long one from from I guess five to two, or they kind of made it so you kind of have to choose between Protos or Shishao. So kind of interesting. Branded opening to me, branded opening to two is like a non-hit. Like literally, who cares? Again, kind of kind of the same thing. It's like it's like they're putting your Aluber from five from like six to to five basically. Um, breaded opening, I really, I don't get this hit. It's really not a big deal. It really isn't. Like, oftentimes people will play this, try to bait out your Ash. If you know the matchup, you're just going to hold your Ash for the, uh, Branded Fusion anyway. Um, and really, if you look at it that way, it's more like they're, they're taking your nine copies of Branded Fusion and they're turning it into eight copies. So, you know, uh, it's, it's all right, I guess. Like, I don't know. I don't really get this hit at all. Uh, Fluandries and the Magnificent Map. Now this hit, again, like what is, like this doesn't do anything. I, look, I'm getting really sick and tired of Fluandries. And the fact that they gave them Advent, like I don't get this, okay? They release the Adventure Engine pre-limited, okay? Like they, before they even release the Adventure Cards, they semi-limited Rite of Air, uh, not, not Rite of Aramisia. Yeah, they semi-limited Rite of Aramisia and they semi-limited Water Enchantress. And then they release the cards, and then they limit the Enchantress again. But Fluandries is fine. You just drop Fluandries just like that. Let it pretty much, like, stagnate the meta like crazy. It's everywhere. It's super boring to play against. Super annoying. Your opponent just basically plays a whole turn on your turn if you don't have the out. Uh, so you just kind of have to pray that you draw the out. And now on top of it, you have to pray that your opponent didn't draw the advent. Because your Imperm is then suddenly useless. So super, super annoying. And honestly, two maps just does nothing, man. Like, removing a map just does nothing. They can search the map with the advent. So they've got... They went from three copies of map... Uh, no. They went from three copies of map to six copies for a couple weeks. And now they're going to go to five copies of map, basically, because of advent. So, honestly, I don't know about this, man. I, I really... I don't really care too much for this. I don't think it's really going to do much. Kind of disappointed, honestly. I wish they would hit it a bit harder. Like, I think they could have, like, honestly, like... It went kind of crazy, like maybe like semi limit or even like limit Robina or limit Eglin, something like that. I would have liked something like that a bit more. This to me is like just kind of whatever. Uh, cards for which the limit on the number of copies will be lifted. Okay, so unlimiting certain cards. So Prank Kids Roxy's interesting. Uh, I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense with the recent hit to Prank Kids. And we haven't seen Prank Kids a lot. This is going to be a good boost for Ad Emancipator. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Sky Striker, Mecha, Widow, Anchor. Now, that's sick. Super happy to see that. So, our Widow, Anchor. So, our Sky Striker Spellbook deck is going to get even better. Uh, Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. Oh, what? Why? Why would they do that? Why would they bring back Torn Scales, bro? Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, actually. I completely forgot. They banned, uh, what, what's his name? They, ban they banned Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. This should be fine. My bad. <laughs> I was overreacting. I completely forgot that they banned uh, Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. And either way, now the deck that summons Rongo is actually Burying Sharks. So, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, welcome back, uh, Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. 
virtual world roshi lao lao don't really have a comment on that i'm not super into like virtual world not super familiar with the cards but um i mean good for you guys i know you guys got hit <laughs> to oblivion you lost your vfd so you might as well get back your lao lao right um but yeah uh dismantling bonuses i don't think any of these cards are like high rarity i think all of these are under sr like so this is kind of nothing honestly yeah all right though um and uh yeah so that's whatever cool i guess like it's it's a list it's a pretty bad one in my opinion i mean they can't do huge impact lists all the time especially if they do them this often but um i think it's also because they released three urs for fluanderies recently so they don't want to hit the deck too much which i do understand but i think it's kind of lame and the other two hits i just think they don't do anything like i don't really get what long one to two does I don't get what branded opening to two does, and I, I, I really don't think these hits are necessary. Um, sure, Sword Soul is still good, but I don't think it's like, like it's so good. Like, oh my god, like you can't, you know. <laughs> uh, if anything, the, the only deck I'm really, really, really like annoyed with is this one here, Floundries. So I wish it would have hit this one a little harder, but uh, it is what it is. Um, otherwise, like, I mean, I'm just happy that they're doing regular lists. I can't complain too much. But that's about it for me. Just a quick little video. Wanted to give my thoughts on the new list. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for checking out the video. So huge shout out to my UCT tier members. That would be Raptor Rapture, Bongerman420, Dad Dude, Joey, Hudamami, and Rytoast. As well as everyone else supporting in the Mist tier, Baby tier, over on Twitch. Shout out especially today to 240 Lifestyle, who donated like 15 gift subs. First time I ever get a bunch of gift subs like that. That felt really good. Uh, you can see my eyes starting to close. I might need to go get some rest, but uh, I just had to drop a video. Give you guys an update on the new ban list. It's uh, it's pretty damn mediocre, but hey, at least they're doing regular updates, you know? So uh, that's going to be it for me. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.